Today we're looking at our first triple IPA from Fidens. Hey Ficionado, Sean here, and I'm really hyped for this one. We've got another variant of Jasper. Previously, I've reviewed the regular Jasper and their double dry hopped Jasper, which was one of my favorite beers of 2020, and really my favorite hoppy beer from Fidens to date. So, really excited for this one. This is triple Jasper. It is 10% ABV, 100% citra hopped. It's basically a triple IPA version of Jasper. There's a lot of high ratings, a lot of hype for this one. I cannot wait to dig in. Wow, yeah, so for the aroma on this one, it just smells super soft and creamy and just fruity, like just loaded with soft tropical and citrus fruits, like tons of like passion fruit and mango, like maybe even like slight stone fruits or like definitely gooseberry, even like maybe like slight lychee or something like that. Definitely a nice like doughy malt sort of sweetness in the back. Maybe even like a little bit of this underlying sort of like green kind of hop vibe. But lots of like bright orange and grapefruity character. Ah, super just soft and fruity smelling though. Yeah, let's get the taste on this. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. That's super creamy and soft. Like, insanely creamy and soft. Like, just loaded with that fruity character. So easy drinking for being a, a triple IPA. You do get maybe like a little hint, a very little faint hint of like sort of that triple IPA booze kind of quality, but... It's one of the, the the easiest drinking, like creamiest, soft triple IPAs you'll find out there. Like, it's just all about soft fruits. All the flavors are very like delicate and juicy and soft and fruity. It's passion fruit. It's mango. It's gooseberry. Papaya maybe even. It's citrusy too more of that orange, more of that grapefruity character, especially on the tail end. It's got a bit of a drying uh, character on the finish. Super like creamy, doughy malt backbone to this one. It's just really easy drinking for a triple IPA, it's crazy. Maybe more of the lychee that I was getting on the nose. More gooseberry. And on the tail end, you do get a little bit of a bitterness, like a little kiss of like grassy, green, citrus pithy kind of bitterness. But overall, like not much bitter character in this one. Everything about it is just soft. The mouthfeel is creamy, like I said. Like it's got probably like a medium pushing, medium plus body to it. Very, very like soft carbonation character. I feel like there's like other tropical or, or sort of like fruity notes that I'm kind of missing, but I think I got most of the big ones like passion fruit, mango, gooseberry. The citrus vibes that I that I mentioned with the orange and the grapefruit. Again, maybe like papaya or like lychee, maybe leaning stone fruit a little, but it's crazy stuff. It's way too easy drinking for a triple IPA and just super soft and creamy. Let's get into final thoughts. All right, so my final thoughts on Triple Jasper. This one is going to get an A plus for me. I mean, this is going to be one of the softest, sort of easiest drinking Triple IPAs that you'll find out there. And it's up there with some of the best Triple IPAs that you'll find from the sort of like top tier IPA producing breweries that are out there right now. And Fidens is one of those breweries right now. Have any of you tried Triple Jasper? If so, 
what do you think of it? And what are some of your favorite triple IPAs? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching.